Hello, I'm Jay and this is my full tour of a standard Britannia class balcony stateroom on board Cunard's Queen Elizabeth. Britannia staterooms all come with sparkling wine on arrival and you can also request fresh fruit whenever you like. You also receive bathrobes and slippers, Penhaligon's luxury toiletries and room service is complimentary 24 hours a day. However, some items on the room service menu do come at an additional charge. A standard Britannia stateroom features twin beds which can be converted into a queen size. You also get a single sofa bed, meaning these cabins can sleep up to three passengers if required. The sofa was firm but comfortable, providing the perfect place to sit and read a book with the balcony door propped open so you can hear the waves. The bed itself was very comfortable with a firm mattress, high quality pillows, Cunard embroidered cushions, a stunning blue silk bed throw and soft cotton bed sheets and duvet cover. Each bedside features a three drawer unit and a bedside reading light. On the bulkhead, just by the bed, you'll find the thermostat for the air conditioning and heating. In the living area part of the stateroom, in addition to the sofa and coffee table, you have a full vanity unit and writing desk, with a mirror and overhead lamps fixed to the bulkhead. The vanity desk features one British and European plug socket and two US sockets. For the size of the cabin, four available sockets is very generous. Just don't forget to bring your travel adapter so you can fully utilise the sockets available. You also have a phone which allows you to call home or dial any number around the ship. Numbers for individual venues on board can be found in the daily shipboard programme. However, main numbers can be found on the telephone itself. The vanity desk has a shallow drawer underneath with just about enough depth to store paperwork, stationery and a small book. Adjacent you have a deeper drawer which houses the hairdryer, however there is enough room inside to store personal items as well. Underneath you have a cupboard housing the mini fridge and this is where you'll find your complimentary sparkling wine on arrival. On the top of this unit you'll find the kettle and other tea and coffee making facilities and very importantly, biscuits. Britannia balcony staterooms come with a flat screen TV fixed to the bulkhead and features basic satellite channels including BBC World News, CNN and multicultural film channels. It's disappointing that Cunard still haven't installed interactive TVs on their ships in the same way their competitors have, like Princess, Celebrity and Holland America. None of us are going on holiday to watch TV, however in an age where cabin isolation could happen to any one of us, it would be nice to know there's a TV to keep us entertained and occupied if we're required to self-isolate. Additionally, it's nice to know that the facility is there to book shore excursions, speciality dining venues or simply check your cabin statement as opposed to walking down to the purser's desk and waiting in a queue just to request a printout. On the left side of the TV you have two coat pegs and a full length mirror. Britannia staterooms are very generous in terms of the storage they give you. You get two full size wardrobes on both the left and right side of the storage unit as you enter the stateroom. You get a decent amount of clothes hangers, however should you need more your cabin steward will be able to accommodate this. The centre door features shelving and the digital safe. The shelves are big enough to store shoes and bulkier items if needed. The bathroom is an adequate size, about standard for this class and age of ship. You get a brown quartz effect worktop, wash basin and foam tap shelving on both sides of the basin, a full size mirror, a plug socket for shavers and luxury Penhaligon's toiletries already mentioned. The shower was easy to use, there was no struggle to set water to the preferred temperature and water was pumped at a decent pressure. Regrettably you do get a shower curtain though, I'd prefer to see a shower door but that's just a personal preference. Onto the balcony, it was looking a bit tired, not helped by the cold and dreary weather we had on this cruise. There was quite a lot of rust around the upper metal structure of the balcony. Rust develops very quickly on ships and ships require constant maintenance to keep rust at bay. Unfortunately, it did seem as though the rust on our balcony had been there for a little while. 
and that our balcony was neglected somewhat. The furniture was also looking pretty tired and uninviting and was covered in chip paint from the deck head above. Overall, we were pretty happy with the Britannia balcony stateroom on board Queen Elizabeth and we'd certainly stay in one again. However, we wouldn't stay in cabin 5188 or any other cabins located aft on this ship. The vibrations generated from the propellers are very noticeable on Queen Elizabeth. Items left on desks and bedside units will shake and earplugs may be the only way to secure a good night's sleep. With the exception of the balcony, the cabin was in immaculate condition and was kept extremely clean throughout our cruise. Cabins are nicely appointed, elegantly decorated and the sparkling wine and Penhaligon's toiletries are a nice touch. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more. We'll see you in the next video, goodbye for now.